last week that Chuck Taylor is held Mark one step ahead of the neighborhood dogs. Today, Mark will share who was Chuck Taylor so that he may present the entertaining speaker project to who was Chuck Taylor. Let's welcome Mark. Chuck Taylor's for quite some time as, as a kid, and I never really thought about who was Chuck Taylor until after I did the speech last week. So I decided to do a little research and say, let me find out exactly who he is and, and share this with, 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 the, um, with the club. So to our Toastmaster and to our members and, and guests. Actually, back in 1909, this company called Converse Rubber was started. They started making shoes that were used in sports, primarily for soccer and, and baseball. In 1917, they came up with this shoe, which they call the Converse All-Stars. Well, when they developed the shoe, it was an all-black shoe, and the sales were, eh, not all that great, until they hired this guy by the name Chuck Taylor. But let me just give you an idea, some things about Chuck Taylor. Well, Chuck Taylor, I thought, probably was a famous basketball player, kind of like a Michael Jordan of, of his time. And that's probably what most of us probably assume. But as I started digging in and finding out information about Chuck, Chuck was a basketball player, but he wasn't like a Michael Jordan. You can tell that it's definitely dated by looking at his short pants, kind of looks like baby diapers. <laughs> <laughs> but Chuck made a big difference when it came to the Converse All-Stars. He played for a team in Ohio called the Firestone, the Akron Firestone um, basketball team. And Chuck was so impressed with these basketball shoes that he decided to quit playing for the semi-pro team and actually go work for Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. All right. So he started to go work for for Congress, and he was really, like I said, he was very impressed with with these shoes. He was almost like an amateur gym shoe designer. Because of Chuck, he was the one that had the patch that was put on the side of the Converse All-Stars. He put those on to help protect the, the ankles. He also, over time, as playing in the shoes, had the eyelids put in so that your feet couldn't breathe. And it wouldn't be very sweaty. Pretty, pretty smart. So he was, like I said, it was kind of an amateur designer. One of the guys that, that worked with him, though, had a funny story about him because he got to the point he thought he was really, really good at this. He came up with this idea of how to make help players be better, faster runners and jumpers by putting weights in the gym shoes. His thought was, after you're out there playing, running around in the shoe, and then you put on regular shoes, you're going to move faster and jump higher. So he tried that. He set these up on these shoes. And the entire team went out there playing and guess what happened? They all ended up with hamstring. So at that point, <laughs> his designing career was over at that point. But because of, of Chuck, it made a big difference to the shoes. He became a salesman for the company and in his Cadillac drove all over the country, kind of with boxes and boxes of shoes in the back that he was just selling all over the country. And that actually took their sales up higher than they ever had been. So the way that the company said, Thank you to Chuck. One, they put a star on the patch, and guess what? They added his name to it. So it was no longer Converse All-Stars, but Converse Chuck Taylor All-Stars. So he pretty much turned that whole company around with his ideas and his outstanding salesman 
activity. So that came in 1932 is when, when his name was added to that. Well, as you probably know, the shoe industry changed over the years. Once we got into about the 60s and the 70s, these kinds of shoes, the canvas shoes, were the best shoes for your feet to protect you on, on, the, on the court. So it started swaying from being a basketball shoe because of companies like Nike who came out, leather shoes, a lot of support in the shoes, really took a lot of their market share. Because at one time, Converse had 80% of the sneaker industry. Mm -hmm. Almost every professional player, every college player wore Converse All-Stars. But as I said, when Nike came on, on the scene, that started going down. And one of the things that they found is that people really liked, regular people like you and I, really liked Converse. And you would see people wearing suits, wearing Converse. You would see entertainers wearing Converse shoes. Converse also made a big impact on special events that happened over time in our history. This guy right here is Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain scored 100 points, 100 points in a basketball game against the New York Knicks. His team, they, they made 169 points. 100 of those were, were his alone. He was wearing Converse Chuck Taylor all-stars. And you kind of saw that throughout our culture, that this shoe really became something that everybody wanted to have, have a part of. You look at movies, you probably remember, hey, Adrian, <laughs> <laughs> Converse shoes. You might remember the guy in Going Back to the Future, Converse shoes. Everybody was in the Converse Chuck Taylor all-stars. But over time, as I said, the market started going away because of companies like Nike. And they began to be more creative with their shoes. 1946 is when they actually came out with this style of, of Converse. And it stayed pretty basic, white or black. But when the change happened, they started doing things like putting art on the shoes. Some of you may have heard of Andy Warhol. But this is just some of the stuff that they did to get the interest of, of buyers. So going from just one or two styles, there's tons and tons of, of shoes in which Commerce Chuck Taylor All-Stars are, are today. So who was Chuck Taylor? Michael Jackson, I'm sorry, not Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. <laughs> From his shoes, last year made over $100 million in one year. Chuck Taylor, their company, number one sneaker in the world ever, sold over 800 million Converse Chuck Taylor shoes. How much did he make? He made zero. He was able to put his name on that shoe. It really touched our culture. You see Chuck Taylors everywhere. So Chuck Taylor made a difference in, in our lives. So have you ever been wondering who is Chuck Taylor? Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs>